Lesson 7.11, AM and PM. We can use AM and PM to describe times of the day. We use AM for times that are after midnight and before noon. We use PM for times that are after noon and before midnight. So AM, it might be written with capital A and capital M with the periods in between them, or it might be written with the lowercase like these. Either way, it's okay. AM is early morning up until lunchtime. So it's all of this time, and then here's 12 noon, lunchtime. So it's all of the morning. And PM is after lunch up until the middle of the night. So noon is 12 o'clock during the day. Midnight is 12 o'clock during the night. And the minute hand and the hour hand are both pointing to 12 at noon and at midnight. Here it says to write the time that we see on the clock face, then circle a.m. or p.m. Walk your dog. So we look at the hour hand. We see it's in between the two and the three, so it's not three yet. It must still be two. We see the minute hand is pointing to the six. That's 30. We count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes. And would it make sense to walk your dog at 2.30 a.m. or 2.30 p.m.? Do you know? If you said p.m., you're right. That would be 2.30 in the afternoon. It would still be daylight out. It would be right before dinner. 2.30 a.m. would be too early in the morning. You wouldn't wake up yet. This one says eat breakfast. We can see the hour hand is pointing to the seven. So we know that's the hour. And we see the minute hand is pointing to the one. And we know that that is five minutes. It must be 7.05. If you're eating breakfast, is it a.m. or p.m.? If you said a.m., you're right. It would be 7.05 in the morning when you eat your breakfast. It would be a.m. This one says play at the playground. We see the hour hand is in between the one and the two. So it's not two yet. It must still be one. We see the minute hand is pointing to the six. We know that means it's 130. And would you play at the playground at 1.30 a.m. or 1.30 p.m.? If you said 1.30 p.m., you're right. That would be 1.30 in the afternoon. 1.30 a.m. would only be an hour and a half after midnight. That would be the middle of the night. It's telling us to use the times in the list to complete the story. And the times we have are 6.30 p.m., 7.45 a.m., and 6.30 a.m. And the story says, Tala woke up at... Let's read some more to be sure. She went to school at... After school, she did her homework. Then Tala ate dinner with her family at... So we see here that she woke up and then went to school. So this happened first, this happened next. We look at the times, and the earliest hour is 6.30 a.m. Then she went to school at 7.45 a.m. That would make sense. So we can say she woke up at 6.30 a.m. We make sure we write a.m. So we don't confuse anyone into thinking it's p.m. So we used this one. She went to school at, she wouldn't go to school at night, so it must be 7.45 a.m. Make sure we write a.m. After school, she did her homework. Then Tala ate dinner with her family at 6.30 p.m. Because p.m. 
is getting to be night. And now we've used the times in the list to complete the story and it makes sense. Here it says, circle the time that makes sense. Before bedtime, Dave brushed his teeth at, it's telling us it's before bedtime. We have 8.30 a.m. or 8.30 p.m. What time do you think Dave goes to bed? If you said 8.30 p.m., you're right. He brushed his teeth at 8.30 p.m. before bedtime. This one says, Bob went swimming at, did he go at 3.15 a.m. or 3.15 p.m.? Which one would make sense? If you said 3.15 p.m., you're right. 3.15 a.m., he would probably still be sleeping. So, in the a.m., you would wake up, eat breakfast, then at 12 noon, you would eat lunch, then in the p.m., you would have the afternoon here, and then you would eat dinner, then you would go to bed, and then we have midnight. So why do we use a.m. and p.m. for morning and evening? Well, a.m., the time from midnight to noon, it's for the Latin words anti-meridium. See the a.m., which means before noon in Latin. P.m., the time from afternoon to midnight, that's for the Latin words post-meridium. See the p.m., meaning afternoon. That's why we use a.m. and p.m. They're just abbreviations for Latin words. Our next lesson, 8.1, will be in a new chapter, chapter 8, all about customary units of measure like inches, feet, yards. I hope you'll join me, and I hope you have a really great day. Bye.